Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. Uh, I'm kind of pissed off right now. Um, let me know if this sort of bullshit has ever happened to you. So I ordered something from fucking Hasbro Pulse. I ordered a Dungeons and Dragons Xanathar monster. He's a big, basically like a big floating eyeball with a giant mouth. And he's got all these tentacles coming off of his body with eyeballs on him. Uh, he looks like a mean version of that thing that Lo Pan uses in Big Trouble in Little China. The thing with all the eyeballs. Imagine that thing on steroids with a mouth full of razor sharp teeth. It's a really cool monster. And I wanted that figure and I ordered it from Hasbro Pulse. This is what the fuck they sent me today. Uh, what the fuck? Some stupid looking X-Men figure. I don't, you know, I'm not an X-Men fan. I don't collect the X-Men. I might collect the occasional figure from the line, but I don't know what this bullshit is. This is from that stupid cartoon that people are watching now. That X-Men 97 bullshit. And, um... This character, I don't know if he's the bad guy or what, but are you telling me that the chimps that work at Hasbro Pulse are so fucking stupid that because Xanathar starts with an X and this fucking idiot's name is Executioner, are you telling me you fucking monkey parasite dumb cocksuckers are that stupid that you're like, oh, it starts with an X? Grab it from the X pile. Throw it in box. Mail to customer. What the fuck? I better get my fucking monster in the mail. Or there's going to be fucking hell to pay. I will fucking make video upon video bitching about Hasbro Pulse. Dude, this is, this is some bullshit. So I was super happy because that Xanathar monster is like a $50 figure. And... He's not worth $50. But I really wanted it. Hasbro Pulse sent me an email saying, Hey, we're having a half-off sale. And so, yeah, I'd pay 25 bucks for that monster. So I ordered him. And instead, they send me this... This fucking... Lame-looking... It's not even a cool figure. Like it. It's a really lazy design. <laughs> I mean, even if I liked X-Men, I wouldn't keep it. Because this isn't what I ordered. So now, I have to jump through hoops. I have to contact these fucking idiots. During their business hours. And see if I can get the right thing. Which means I'm go probably going to have to go to the post office. And send this piece of shit back. Uh, what a pain in the ass. I know that it's, you know, as far as problems in the world go, it's not that big of a deal. But it it does irritate me because I got the tracking number, you know, and I was, I, I kept checking my phone during the day and it said out for delivery. And I was like, oh boy, I get a new monster today only to open this goddamn thing up. And womp, 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 get the fucking limp dick of all prizes. Look at that. Fucking ugly ass piece of shit. Ugh. Anyway, that's how my day's going. I just wanted to know, have you guys ever dealt with that shit? Have you ever been sent the wrong thing by Hasbro Pulse? Have you guys ever dealt with Hasbro Pulse? Is it hard to get like an exchange is it are they dicks about it or is it is it a pretty painless easy process ah oh, man what a crock of shit anyway i hope you guys are doing better than i'm doing today uh yeah let me know if you guys have ever had to fuck around with hasbro pulse all right, guys, I will keep you abreast of the situation. 
If I get that monster, I'm going to do a video about him. But if they don't want to do a, a, a an exchange or whatever, I'll do a video of me lighting this fucking figure on fire in protest. <laughs> All right, guys. Happy fucking Halloween.